We're practical scientists. We're not, um, we're not trying to tell growers something that we haven't actually got down and dirty in, whether it's compost heap or whether it's a, you know, whether it's a diseased <laughs> grapevine. We've actually, we're, we're hands-on scientists, and I, and I, think that's, I think that's what our clients respect, is the fact that we are hands-on scientists. We're not sitting up in a, in a, in a room somewhere. It's not to take away from farmers, but they are the hands-on people. Absolutely. And they need it to live in a practical, Absolutely. simple way. And it's not that it's simple what you're saying, but I haven't heard you, Mary, but I've heard Elaine, and you, she really is brilliant. Mm -hmm. The way she delivers, and I agree. Mm -hmm. it can be easily understood. Mm -hmm. A lot of information, but mm -hmm. um, that's, I think, it's essential. Mm -hmm. For all people, because mm. all consumers, mm. to understand what mm. Elaine's message is. Mm. Yeah. Human mm. beings need to understand this because they have to run their own lives once again mm. and not be so dependent on somebody else prescribing for them what they ought to do. Mm. People have to make their own decisions for themselves and they have to have the knowledge to be able to make those decisions. Mm. And it's not rocket science. This is not that difficult to do. No, it is a system, isn't it? That's right. But it's also it's also put to them. It's put to them in such a way that that the the knowledge empowers them to make their own decisions. And I've noticed that with with the with the um, the grape growers, for example, with our Botrytis best practice protocols, and we did workshops, and we said, well, you know, here is the information. With that information, you can go into your vineyard and you can make any decision you need. It's a very powerful tool, and, and, and I guess that's what we both have the skills of doing, is, is giving those tools to people who need to use them, and then supporting them um, when they need the support. And that's, I think that's what we've both done our whole careers. And it's how to give that support in the least painful fashion mm -hmm. possible. So we're here, we can help them when they need it, um, and then otherwise they go on about their lives. Mm -hmm. um, applying this knowledge and information on their own. They don't need us out there charging huge amounts of money. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to sell a product to them that they mm -hmm. got to buy and remain forever beholden to us. Mm -hmm. um, they have to be empowered to do it themselves. Mm -hmm. And selling knowledge is, is, is really, I mean, I, I keep saying I have the privilege of had, having had a career where I think I've made a difference and I don't want to die with this knowledge. I want somebody else to have it before I leave the planet, and you know the, everything that I do is 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 doing just that. And I and I think that's probably why it's so nice to see the whole Australian New Zealand international wine industry with my students out there who are still prepared to send me an email or come and see me when I happen to be in the country. And you know that's and I mean, it's a really nice feeling, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it, it you, you know that you have have done something that somebody feels is worthwhile. Uh, we, we plan to continue to do that. Yep, until the day we die. Yeah, Absolutely. Yeah. So <laughs> and get made uh, into compost. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to be composted, not, <laughs> not buried. <laughs> so, yeah, no, I, I, it's, it's very exciting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. we'll forge ahead.